Hey everyone, Ingrace Cube here, and we're back. And I know I was said I was going to do the um, the actual quest line, but first I wanted to do a follow up on that um, that um, um, trade skill crystal thingy, whatever this thing, Yelnar's Binding Stone. All right, so what you do is you kick Dozakar's ass and you loot that from him, and then you don't you don't do what I do or what I did. You actually look around and you find Yelnar rather than just run back to the exit. Because, you know, that would probably be smart, and I don't do smart things. So what you do is you hail him, and he'll be like, hey, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, who the hell are you? And he's like, I'm a necromancer, blah, blah, blah. And those car bound me here so they can use our crafting secrets to make cool shit for their armies. Whether or not that cool shit's really cool shit is really up to you. Um, I have no idea what recipes this guy will, will offer us. But anyhow, he'll give you a little quest. Which I believe requires a lot of rares, which I probably don't have. But first, um, what do we need to do? <clears throat> Defeat Dozgar, done. So I might actually have to redo the entire zone, which would suck. Um, I've made countless items of extreme quality. Let me know what I need to do. Return to me once you have reclaimed my Binding Stone from Dozakar. I need to take a look at it in order to know exactly how to reverse what Dozakar has done. I will let you know how to fix it at that time. We will discuss your reward when I am free. I will return. Alright. And then you get the Research Prism. And yeah, okay. Yeah, I had heard that you can't do it without without um, actually having the quest. And if you did have the quest after you killed Dozakar, you'd have to go kill him again. But that was, was apparently fixed in a patch, which, you know... Yeah, there you go. Alright, I've got it. It's right here. Hello? Oh, whoops. I clicked the wrong one because I'm an idiot. I knew I could need to look at home. We'll need to reverse the binding magic and then apply it to the bindings directly. How do I do that? Let me write down some instructions. Blah, blah, blah. This will not be easy, but if you are skilled as you say you are, you should be able to pull it off. Well, why not? I pulled his head off. That was pretty awesome. Binding Stone Modification. It's a level 90 um, artisan recipe. Mm, excuse me. Question is... Okay, it does not auto-scribe. So let's scribe it, and that was Binding Stone Modification. Now let's go look at what Binding Stone Modification takes. Find ing. Oh, and Yolner's Binding Stone. Goodness gracious me. Five Banyan Root, five Babinga Lumber. I don't know why, but Babinga just sounds like something that you would buy on the Home Shopping Network at like 2 in the morning when you're drunk or something. Five Metallic Reptile Hides, five Osmium, and 20 Effulgent Coal. None of which I have on me, of course, but I might... Wait. Oh, and Yolner's Binding Stone. I might have them back at the guild hall. I don't know. Okay, I just paid the rent yesterday, so this should be okay. Um, what is the timer on this? Three days, 23 hours. That's plenty of time. Let's do it. Back we go. Mm-hmm. Shazam! And we're just looking at this lovely picture of Nagvin. Hey Nagvin, how's it going? And he's just all like, hey. I'm just sitting in my volcano chilling. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so now we just got to see. Oh, I do. I've got plenty of that stuff. I mean, I basically just throw everything in my, my um, whatever harvest box. So I should have it by now, but you never know. Sometimes I'm lucky with the rares, sometimes I'm not. But in this case, I was lucky enough with the rares. I need 20 effulgent coal. Oh, crap, I didn't even see that he was on. I didn't even look either, so... Oops. 
This is not the fuel guy. This is the fuel guy. I'm so happy because I killed those cars. So look at me do my little dance. Woohoo! I really hate the EQ dance. Why couldn't they have given us a cool dance? You know, like, like Pop Locker or something. Or Disco, yeah! Efulgent Coal, I just saw it. There it is. How much do I need? 20, 30, 40, 500? 20. Well, let's buy 20 of them then. It's a lot easier to see when your when your dry eyes problem has kind of like been dealt with. Ever since I learned that all I need to do is just rub my eyelids with with hot water, that that's helped considerably. I mean, it's not like my my vision has magically like returned back to perfect 2020. No, it hasn't. But at least my eyes aren't crusted shut like they have been, and my eyelids have not been uh, all inflamed and swollen, which really makes it hard to see. Okay, what do I need for this? A forge. A forge. So let's go ahead and create it. I wonder if this will blow up and kill me. If so, I should probably stop dancing like a jackass. But I'm not the one dancing, it's Tal. Tal, stop dancing like well, Go ahead, Tal, do whatever you want. I don't care. She's got a lot of credit to burn with me right now because she handled those a car. Speaking of, last night I decided to test it and I went after Sevillac. And Sevillac went down too. So, yeah, we got a new guild trophy. Although it was odd because I killed Sevillac, but then I went to take a screenshot right after he died, forgetting that he summons adds. And the screenshot lagged my entire system out for like, you know, five, six seconds where I couldn't do anything, and so when it when it unlagged, he instantly exploded my face, and I was like, well, well, actually, no, he didn't. His ad killed me, but he still dropped a chest, which is like, uh, if he summons ads, should he not have dropped that chest? I mean, I didn't actually kill the encounter, technically. I killed Sevillac. Okay, where did I put his head at? Where did I put his head at? Okay, there's a scooter, there's Sevillac. Behold, Sevillac. Why is... Whoa, oh, that must just be some weird thing there. But yeah, there's Sevillac. Let's take a look at him. See, he's pretty. In case you're wondering, his, his character model is basically take off only on steroids. So yeah, he's a greater storm dragon, and he's all badass and shit, but he went down just like, just like his... His 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 boss does a car. They they both went down. They went down hard. Okay, I should bring this Bonavie blah blah back to what's his name, and then let's do this. I just thought it was odd because normally when you fight a group encounter like that, if a boss summons adds and you kill the boss, but you don't kill the adds, you don't get the chest. But when I killed Sevillac, he dropped the chest. So, like, he summoned ads, but the ads were not actually linked to the fight, apparently. It was, I don't know, it's just really weird. We're just waiting for the zone server. We'll just give it about 20, 30 minutes. Because my ISP hates me, and, well, my ISP is, is Spectrum slash Charter, and they apparently just got slammed in New York a couple months ago with the... I believe it was the largest lawsuit settlement that any ISP has ever received. And I was just like, thank you. Too bad I wasn't in California, but oh well. It made me happy because I hate Charter with a passion. To give you an idea of how much I hate, or why I hate Charter, just how bad they are. When I first had Charter installed, spent all afternoon trying to get it up and running. The guys came out and installed it, but then they decided, well, you have a virus on your system. Well, oh, no, actually, spoilers, I did not have a virus on my system. But I spent something like six hours on the phone with, with tech rep who was helping me because I, I told him, it's like, they came out here, they just they just arbitrarily said I had a virus and they left. And he's like, that's not supposed to happen. Wait, I don't want to do that. I will actually want to take the, the portal. But anyhow, we, we finally got up and running, spent the entire day doing that, and in fact, the the tech he went into my 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 record, and because what the um 
what the install text did was, well, he was like, no, that that that's a no. You you don't have to pay your, the install fee. So he waived like, what was it two, three hundred dollars, something like that? Just said, screw that. They did not do their jobs. We just did their jobs for them, which took a lot longer than it should have because you know he's not there. He's on the phone. I believe he was over like in where was he? Mich Michigan or something like that. Anyhow, everything's great. We got we got internet right. Well, no, everything's not great. For the next several years, I'm having constant problems where the internet would just randomly go out for hours. Not, not, not like you know, not like a 20 minute outage. I'm talking like you know, seven or eight hours that day the internet was out. I'd call them up and they'd be like, "There are no, there are no outages in your area, so we have no idea what's going on." They'd send the tech out. The tech would be like, "I can't find anything wrong." Well, finally, I called that um, the the center that I talked to the, that that first day, and they sent a special tech out. He came out. And he spent like I don't know. I think it was two hours. Maybe three hours, but not not too long. I mean, he was out for a few hours, and he was going through all the wiring and everything, and he found the problem. When those idiots came out that first time, they plugged the input into the output. Yeah, that's right. That was the problem the entire time. And there's there's Yelnar, but we actually have to ride this all the way back to the beginning, then run back out here, and it's annoying. Although. I do think it's kind of lame that they put Yelnar way out there like that because when I first came back here, I was like, wait, when you go into the Heroic Zone, the water actually damages you. So why would you jump into the damaging water and just go swimming out there looking for stuff? It doesn't damage you in here, though. So it's like, yeah, consistency, Sony. Consistency. I know it's a word that's really hard to understand, but maybe someday. But yeah, I don't like Charter because they said, well, Spectrum now, but they're still the same company. They are just, just changed their name to Hide How Stupid They Are. And stupid they are. Alright, so let's go back and talk to Yelnar and see what's going on there. Man, I wish the rains would go away. I mean, I don't because then it keeps the fires away and that's good. But God, it makes me so runny. And as you know, thanks to my condition, I already have a um, balance problem with the moisture levels in my body. Also with my you know, kidney problems as well. So when we get into the winter months, it's not fun for me. Man. Just what I needed. More mucus running through my body. Yay! Oh well. Although, honestly, I wouldn't mind having a um, I wouldn't mind having the mucus problem if I could have a chiropractor come over here and like rebuild my spinal cord because God, my neck feels like it's just fused solid into one gigantic iron rod. I was trying to cook tonight and I just I can't do it. I, my body doesn't have much, much um, what's the word? It doesn't have a very long activation period before it's out of energy. Kind of like in, uh, what was that stupid anime called? Um, Neon Genesis, when they had the, the, the I don't know, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. They, they have these giant robots to fight angels, and the, the robots only have a limited amount of power, so they have to have like these long extension cords plugged up their, their ass while they fight angels. It's, it's, it's stupid. A lot of people love the show, and I just, you know, it's just proof that humans are fucking stupid, because it was a pretty fucking stupid show. Anyhow, my body's kind of like that. It's like, I get out of this chair... And suddenly the timer's going down. I go up there, I'm standing up there making some, some dinner, and it's like three minutes pass, and I'm just like uh, dragging myself back to the chair because I just, I can't, I, I'm out of power. And it seems to be focused around my neck. It's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, maybe, maybe my um, vertebrae have just like fused in one solid piece, and so my, my, my power's like getting, I've got a short. Oops, here we go. Yelnar's over here. Alright, here it is. Yay. Use the binding stone. Alright, where's the binding stone? Is that the binding stone? That's the binding stone. Alright. Lore no trade. Now, I heard that you can actually... Oh no. Because this is lore no trade. Someone told me that you can trade it before you use it, but apparently that's not the case. Because it's lore no trade right here. 
use. Yay! Disco! Okay, now I can talk to him one more time. Okay, thank you for your help. You're truly a friend. Now let's talk about your reward. I'm listening. An equally heroic reward. Okay, let me guess. You're going to come build stuff for me? Yes, I got his research prism. Okay, maybe this is what they were talking about. I don't know. Place this in your dwelling and I will commune with you. I feel that I can trust you with the knowledge of our ancient necromantic recipes. It will take some time for me to transfer our recipes into your native tongue. I'm sure you will make good use of the equipment in your fight against the Awakened. Thank you, I will not let you down. Wait, he's got another quest? Oh, no, it's the same quest, okay. And there's my thing. No transmute. But it doesn't say no trade, so maybe this is what they're talking about. Maybe you can actually trade this or sell it or whatever before you um, use it. But why don't we go plunk it down and see what recipes he offers. For, for all I know, he offers the same recipes as, um, what's the guy's name, Deshniak? Or something like that. So let's find out. Ooh, my back itches. Itchy, itchy, itchy. Ugh. Charter, someday you're going to learn how to use, like, actual cables and not smoke signals to transfer fucking data. Jesus Christ, I hate Charter so much. And when Spectrum... When they changed their name to Spectrum, it, they became much, much worse. Wait, this is not my house. This is my guild hall. You'll have to forgive me. I'm an idiot. Wait, can I use it in here? Let's find out. Fabled. Charges. Okay, let's try to use it. Okay. Yelnar's teleportation stone. Okay, this is... So yeah, they were talking about that other one. The, the prism is, is tradable, sellable, whatever, but this one is not. Okay. Oh, this item can be placed on the floor in your house, so it probably won't work in the guild hall. Yeah, see? Can't place it. Only place in the player house. Okay, so there you have it. Usually in the description it will it will clarify whether or not it can be placed in a um, guild hall or not. But when it says your house, it generally means that it has to be in a player house. But that's okay, because we've got housing right here. One of these days I'm going to take all the rest of the stuff out of that stupid inn room of mine and get rid of it. The inn room, I mean, not the stuff that I'm taking out of it. We're just waiting for the um, thing here. All right. Let's put it down here so it's easier for me to see it. There's Yelnar. We'll put him right over here. No, actually, let's put him right here. You can keep her company. Put him in there. No, he's a little bit too big there. Let's put him right here. And he's all like, what's up? And I'm like, okay, first, does he have any recipes? Because as you know, my um, other guy does not have recipes left because I've done them all. What is the status of our research? Okay, he's got new recipes. Draconic Knowledge, Channeling Totem of the Archmagus, Channeling Totem of the Dragon Seer, Battle Priest Mending Ale, Victory Mead, Intoxicating Chocolates, Visionary Soup. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Arcane Dragon Statue. Show me, show me, show me. Is that furniture? It appears to be furniture. Yeah, it's furniture. Okay, cool. As a carpenter, I'm... Mm, that's kind of cool. I can make some weird dragon sphinx thing. Mm, 
neat. All right, so he's got stuff. He's got some some furniture recipes. He's got some food. Oh, there's a bow. See, he's got chocolate, soup, mead, ale. He's got some totems. He's got a little bit of everything. Although, why the Awakened wanted furniture to outfit their necromantic soldiers? Mm, I have no idea. That kind of doesn't make sense. Yeah, but whatever. Well, I don't know. I mean, big bone golem carrying a giant statue, smashing it on someone's head. There you go. It's kind of a makeshift weapon. Weapon. What do I want to learn first? Let's start with the bottom. Noble dragon head statue. What does it look like? It's only 16 days. But you cannot, um, well, if it's anything like the other guy, you can't actually speed them up. So let's try. Is there anything I can help you do? Speed up? And he's like, nope. Basically, I have to teach you English so you can translate them. And it will take 16 days, which, uh, that's fine. Speaking of, how are you doing? I still have recipes left, don't I? Yeah. Six days? Show him how it's done. Yay. And there you have it. That's what you do with that, um, that, um, whatever, binding stone. You take it and you put him in the on the on the floor after you've crafted the thing. It takes five rares of what was it all? It was like banyan root, babinga wood, uh, osmium, and reptile hide, I think. And there's Deshniak. That was his name, Deshniak. So yay, there you have it. And so next time. We will go and do the actual quest line just because we can. And for no better reason. Because there is no better reason. Do it because you can. Yay! So, anyhow, thank you for watching. Hope everyone's having a, a great new year so far. And, well, if it's raining, then do yourself a favor and keep dry and warm. And I will catch you all later.